Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're back on the boat on a bit of a windy day. And we're gonna go check the lobster pots. Hopefully we can get some big ones. I've got the bass rod as well. So we'll be trying for a bass. So stay tuned, hopefully we get some big ones. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Engine is purring, ready to go, baby. Nice. Got plenty of fuel on board. My dad's boat's in the water as well. Nice. So maybe make some videos on that eventually. Let's go out there and go find our pots. That is as good as pot bait gets right there. Got big gilt head heads, bass heads, we got mini pollock, and we got garfish. Beautiful. I'm gonna load the pots up today because I'm not gonna be able to get back to them for a while. This is the only day I've got. I've even got extra garfish just in case. Let's load these pots up, baby. Alright guys. <laughs> First cast, literally. What do we have here? We've got a lovely little bass. Look at that. First cast of the day, that's a good sign. It's funny, I've been fishing around here on the lures lately, on the, on the westerly winds, and not catching anything. Go to an easterly, and straight away we get one. Beautiful. Just a little sand eel representation. We're getting some bass. We're right over rocks on this one. Baited heavy. The last two trips we've had zero keepers. There it is. Just small stuff in that one. Spider crabs and lady crabs. Some very big lady crabs. Buckets ready for our big old catch. <laughs> right. See if this made any, any difference. What I did to these pots, they used to have six inch necks in them. So six inch en entrances, I've changed it to 10 inch now. And they're really clean. So hopefully we can get a few spider crabs and stuff. That's the plan anyway. I'm hoping I can get the bigger spider crabs in these bigger entrances. That's exactly what I wanted this for. It's a bit small that one. That's not a bad spider. Starting to get some really big female spiders in now. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely to see. That's not a bad one, but we've got a lot of pots to pull yet, so chances are we're gonna catch a bigger one. And all the rest is just small stuff. So we get the other one up and see if we get any more. Come on, you crabs. Big entrances, big crabs, hopefully. <laughs> We're excited for today. I baited them all up with really good bait last time, so hopefully we can get a keep of lobster this time. Here she comes. Oh yeah, there's some big spiders in this one. like it, look at that. That's a lovely big spider crab. That goes in the bucket. I think guys, that's probably 
probably illegal spider crab. This is the reason we don't measure them. Someone asked in the last video why we don't measure the spider crabs because the legal size of them is tiny and no one takes them like no one takes them that size. No one that I know anyway, but uh, that's the reason why. If you get a spider crab, you want a big male. You get all that fresh meat out of there and it's so easy to pick. Just out. I don't think any of these are keepers. No, nope, that one's small. That one's small. And that one's small. <laughs> Four lobsters, no keepers, no! Come on! Here she comes, first pot. We're on a big reef here. Oh, the big lobster. Nice! Yeah! That is more like it. Beautiful! Easy keeper! So there we go guys, we've got our lobster. And as you can see, perfectly in. It's about one or two mil in that one. Beautiful! That goes in the bucket, hopefully. That's a sign of things to come. on this trend of catching lobsters. We've got two down, one beauty, one smaller. That's lovely. today I'm happy about that. I've been on a bit of a losing streak the last couple of trips. Oh wow. There's a buster in there. Look at the size of that. Whoa. Look at that. That's a spider. That's a big buster right there. It's probably a three, three pound I reckon. Three and a quarter maybe. That is a beauty of a crab. This thing's loaded. One there. It's not a bad spider at all that one. I'm gonna let it go because uh, we've got some monsters in there and we've still got quite a few pots to pull yet so 
I'll bait this one up, we'll get on to the next one. It's turned out to be a great trip. We've got two lobsters, three spider crabs. Headed to the outside pots, come on. Give us a beef. <laughs> or another beef. We've got some beauties at the moment. We are at the outside pots. So these ones are in 60, meter, 60 foot of water, where the other ones are in about 20. I find I get more ground crab out here, but I do get the odd decent lobsters as well. And obviously it's spider crab season. It's a big old spider though. One little one. It's not a bad spider, that one. I'll let that one go. I'm being picky today because uh, we've got some really big crabs, so I don't need a lot. So just pick the biggest of the bunch, the rest goes back for another day. Oh, I'm stopping a big crab. Crab. Oh, there's a lobster in there as well. I'll let that go. Female. Little baby Larry. Nice. Certainly some crustaceans around at the moment. Oh, massive brown crab. And a decent lobster. That's a beauty of a brown crab. <laughs> what the size of that? Is it going to be a keeper? No way. You should see the size of this brown crab, guys. It's massive. And that is. That is just out by literally half a millimeter. But out is out. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is a buster of a brown crab. This is what you call a cock crab. Look at that. That is what we come out for. That is a beauty of a brown crab. That solid male. That is a beast. That's my biggest brown crab on the boat by a long shot. That is a monster. That's what we want to see. More of these. <laughs> That's why I keep pots in the deep, just in case some of these turn up. Lovely job. All right, get these baited up. I'm well looking forward to the next set now. That's a beast of a crab. These pots are going straight back in the reef. <laughs> A few more brownies would be great. Definitely some spiders. Loads and loads of spider crabs in there. Just a lot of small ones though. Any wind noise today guys i've been in a, it's a force four easterly so uh yeah it cuts across the bay a bit hey hopefully in this last pot we can get another larry but if not it's been a really good uh, session on the pot 
We've got a beauty of a brown crab. We've got lovely big spider crabs and a couple of lobsters. And we'll go through them all in a minute and then keep what we're going to keep and then the rest will go back. There's certainly a few spiders in that one. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of big ones as well. See, like, these ain't bad crab. They're not bad at all. But they're not as big as the ones like that. Beautiful. Get this bladed up. Really enjoyed this trip. Now we've had some good crab. Here it comes. More spiders. More brown crabs. It's not a bad brown crab in the back there. I'm not sure if it's a female or not. That's a female and it's soft. Oh, no. There we go. Last part of the day done. So what I'm going to do is bait these up, get them chucked out, and we're going to have a look at our cat. by a millimetre and it's a female so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that go I've got enough crab today I'm going to show you all when I get back to my mooring I've got more than enough crab for me and my dad so we don't need any more quite the catch today. That is an absolute buster of a brown crab. Can't wait to eat that. We've got this big old hard larry and we've got a few spiders as well. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to throw that spider. I'm going to keep three and then uh, I'm going to keep the brown crab and lobster as well. You beauty. Looking forward to tucking into all this. Delicious. All right I'll see you guys back at home. That's one hell of a catch. That's a big old lobster as well. And it had bands on it. So it's obviously escaped and come into my crab pot. We've got the big boiling pot out today. Almost out of boil. There's loads of salt in there. And we've got all of our crabs. I've already cooked the lobster and given it to a friend of mine. And now we're gonna enjoy some delicious crab. Hey Smash, you wanna try some? Yeah, you wanna try some? <laughs> Those are just nerves guys. I've dispatched these crabs already. That's two crabs nearly filled up this giant pot. Shows how big they are. We've still got two to go. So there we go guys. I managed to get all four crabs in the pot. Just about. <laughs> it's going to take a while to get back to a boil but I'm just going to cook them for ages. Happy days. Delicious. So that's three big spider crabs and one massive, uh, one massive shanker as well. Alright, get my lid back on, we're good to go. And smash, don't eat it. Good boy. Crabs are cooking up nicely now, check those out. Lovely big spiders. This pot was definitely at its limit. It's doing well, another five minutes, we'll get these out. Just 
number two. Oh, there's a big claw. That's a beauty. And there's the brown crab. The size of that puppy. The meat that's going to be in that. I reckon out of all of this, we're going to have a bowl full, that's for sure. Check that out. That's what you call a crab cook up. <laughs> And that there is a beauty of a that's a beauty of a shanker really monster happy days i'm gonna pick this crab now guys and we'll make a nice little dish out of it we are back in the kitchen guys we've got our nice shanker crab here i made my pop-up a nice uh, spider crab shell full of uh, full of meat i'll give you guys a picture of that now awesome looking shell loads of meat on those claws happy days so what i'm cooking today is linguine as you can see, I'm gonna make a nice little coconut crab sauce. And this is gonna taste absolutely delicious, hopefully. Don't do that at home, guys. <laughs> We've got our ingredients ready here, guys. I've got one red onion chopped up, not very fine, but cubed it. Got a lime, lemon, got loads of butter, coconut milk, then we got oregano, black pepper, sea salt, some chili flakes and some garlic. So what I'm going to do is make a nice little sauce out of all of this and then we'll add our crab while our pasta's cooking. I'm just going to fry these down guys, get them all sweated down so they're nice and soft or near soft and we'll slowly add all of our ingredients as we go along. Got about half a teaspoon of garlic, salt and pepper, give that a little stir around, and we got a little bit of oregano, that can go in there. Got some chili flakes. Just gives it a nice little kick now and again. I don't like a lot in there, but just enough that you'll be able to taste the heat. Yeah, how good that's looking. Going in with a little bit of lemon. Pick the seeds out. We go a little bit of lemon without the seeds, hopefully, and a nice little squeeze of lime in there. This will just give it a nice little fresh flavour, and we are good to go. Get that in there, get that cooked down nicely. I'm just going to add a little bit of butter there. So our onions and everything are cooked down nicely. So what I'm gonna do is melt down the butter and add some coconut milk. I'm gonna get all of this stirred in. And this will create our delicious little pasta sauce for our linguine. Beautiful. What we're gonna do now just keep stirring, just on a low simmer, until we get it a little bit thicker. We're going to have a nice crab taste, a nice coconut taste, once we put a big pile of crab in it. Delicious. Our sauce has just thickened up a little bit now, and that is perfect. So all I'm gonna do is add some crab meat. I kept some of the inner shell as well. Uh, I did actually eat the claws. I was gonna crack the claws and then leave them as meat, but I completely failed on that one. So all we're gonna do is add 
some freshly picked brown crab. I like a lot of it in my pasta, so there we go. Just a little bit more. And that is our pasta sauce ready for action. So I'm just going to give this a couple of minutes just for the flavours to mingle a little bit. And we'll add that to our linguine. Look at that. Beautiful pasta. If we had smell of vision right now, oh, I swear to God, this could be up there with one of the tastiest cooks if, this, uh, if it tastes as good as what it smells like. Oh. Right then guys, it's time to plate up. Look how good that sauce is looking. Oh. And then we got a beautiful pasta here, or linguine should I say. There's two of us having this, so let's get it plated up. I'm no chef, but uh, there's no harm in trying to make things fancy now and again. Oh yeah. I've seen this on the internet where people twist it. If you got any tips for this guys make sure to leave it in the comments because as you can tell i'm an amateur but i try my best and now we got our delicious crab sauce look at that there's so much crab in there that's what you want to see right so i've got it portioned out guys and now we've got a little bit of crab here just to dust off the top of it. Beautiful. This one's for my father-in-law. Looks kind of pretty, that dish. And all we got now, a little bit of the uh, inner shell. That goes on the side for a little bit of garnish. Almost finished. If I do say so myself, that looks like a gourmet dish. <laughs> Look at that, not bad for a little scrubber. I'm quite impressed with that. A father-in-law should be happy, look at that. That's a beauty, a little bit of lemon lime on the side. We've got the linguine sauce here with all the crab, fresh crab on top. Bit of inner shell, and nice linguine there. I salted that water a lot, by the way. I don't know if I said that in the video. And mine just looks like a pile of mess, but there we go. At least this one looks good. Let's sit down and eat some. Oh yeah, I've been looking forward to this one. Look at that. That other dish looked amazing. I don't often cook like this, but it's nice to switch it up from the old sandwiches and that now and again. Problem is, because I just vlog, I'm not really, I'm not a cook, so I'm a fisherman. So uh, I tend to vlog this sort of stuff and then just do anything that I want to eat at the time sort of thing, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, today I fancy something fancy while I had the time. Mmm. I don't even want to talk that so good. That's probably one of the tastiest dish. One of the tastiest dishes I've ever done. Oh, because I'm a big fan of just like eating a crab as it is or, or a lobster, you know. But now and again, it's nice to go out and uh, put loads of flavour in because that's bloody tasty. Thing is, you can taste every ingredient I put in that. Every single one. I'll tell you what. Let's get a bit of fresh lemon on the side. Squeeze that over. Let's see how that goes. Got the brown meat there. But yeah, if you've got any tips for linguine or any sort of dishes like this, leave them in the comments, guys, because I'm always reading them. I'm always trying to learn new techniques for cooking. So yeah, like, please feel free to give me some tips. There's so much crab in that sauce. Every bite you get, you just get a big explosion of crab. Oh. There's actually a really good amount of heat there. It's like perfect, not too much, but just enough to get you a little bit sweating. That's what I wanted today. Mm. That's so tasty. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. If you want any merch that I'm not, that I'm not wearing, <laughs> We've got loads of new designs going up and stuff and on the weekend it's um it's free uk shipping and then there's massive discounts for other parts of the world as well 
So make sure you check out the merch store. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and hit the subscribe button. There'll be plenty more to come. Smash fishing, baby. Woo! Oh, that's good.